Hey guys, Saint Jeff here, and today we are playing WWE 2K16, and this is between Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins, and look who is going to be ringside for Kevin Owens. Yeah, we are going to discuss what happened last night at Raw. So, in the new Raw Arena, which looks really good, might I say, whoever made this must be a good content creator. So, we're going to discuss Kevin Owens winning the Universal Championship. And Triple H attacking Seth Rollins. So let's get into the match. Right, so first I want to begin by saying that finally Kevin Owens has won a major championship. I know that he won the Intercontinental Championship, but that wasn't m major like the top championship. Now, I think that Kevin Owens might actually hold on to the championship until Finn Balor gets back, which I don't know how long that is going to be because well his injury has been said that it's more major than normal so yeah I think Kevin Owens will hold on to it for quite a while maybe until Wrestlemania 33 I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that he's going to hold on to it for a long time, and I think that they're obviously going to plan Seth Rollins versus Triple H at WrestleMania 33, probably, which will be one heck of a match, but if they do versus each other, what is Seth Rollins going to use as a finisher? That's what I want. And here's this devastating move, what injured Finn Balor. But Bret Hart said that he's going to kill someone with the moves he does. But that's why everyone likes Seth Rollins. Because he's not afraid to take it to the extreme. And I like that also. I'm not a big fan of him. But I do like his wrestling style. So say if Seth Rollins was going to verse someone like hmm, Big Shaw. <laughs> Who was planned to retire in 2017? Probably it's after WrestleMania 33 because he's going to be first in that basketball player. Um, but let's get back to um, Kevin Owens winning the Universal Championship. Great decision by the WWE. Great decision. First of all, um, I think it was sort of a good idea that um, the Triple H like tricking Seth Rollins. That was a good idea. Yeah, I think that was a good idea. That Triple H tricked Seth Rollins in thinking that he was on his side. Because obviously Rollins would think that. 
But what I want to know is what's going to happen now. Is Seth Rollins going to attack Triple H next Monday, maybe? He could, but I think Triple H would have to dominate him. Because Seth Rollins has like, got the character of a puny weasel. Although I did sort of stand up to Brock Lesnar, but once the match came around, Brock Lesnar uh, took him to Suplex City. That's also some of what I want to discuss when the rematch between Brock Lesnar and Randy Orton happens. Right. Looks like I'm going to have to finish him off here. So, a great decision by the WWE. Letting Kevin Owens win the Universal Championship. Great decision. And if the next pay per view is Night of Champions, I'd give Seth Rollins the match against Kevin Owens. But then I'd have Triple H interfering. Yeah. Nice. Drop it. Show and all. And I liked how Kevin Owens sort of like was shocked. So he must have not planned that. Like, obviously, it was planned. But, like, in the WWE entertainment world, for the fans, like. Kevin Owens must have not done that behind everyone's back. But we'll see next Monday on Raw. Dominating Rollins right now. <laughs> but maybe Rollins will turn face now. Never know. Could turn face, and well, he could team up. He could team up with a uh, Roman Reigns. That might be an idea to consider. Do you? Do you? I'm pretty. I don't know if the fans would like that. Or what? Because everyone wants to see Roman Reigns turn heel. I don't want to see Roman Reigns turn heel. I really don't get why the fans hate him so much. Like, what did he actually do? I think it was just because WWE was giving them a major push. But that was only because Seth Rollins was out injured. So the fans have to understand that. But I do think that um, when Seth Rollins got injured and they didn't know that he was going to get injured, like, I think they had Roman Reigns planned to win Rollins anyway. Because he held the title for quite a while so like a lot of questions to be answered next week on Raw is Rollins gonna have a new finisher is Rollins gonna attack Triple H who is Kevin Owens gonna be versing in the next pay-per-view for, for, for Raw 
watch Roman Reigns next move. Yep. Is Randy Orton gonna do what he did last time and invade Raw and Akio Lesnar? Or is Brock Lesnar gonna invade SmackDown and attack Randy Orton? But I have to say, I do really like the separate rosters now. So there's Kevin Owens winning Seth Rollins. So guys, thank you for watching. Um, leave in the comments what you think will happen next week. And please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I know I've already said that. And as always, see ya.